what? Oh no. <sighs> well, morning. Hell of a sunrise this morning, early February, and uh, up Crack of Sparrows just before sunrise. Getting ready to take off on the nitro, and the, uh, the wings laid out. Wind this morning, about four miles an hour southerly, so it's nice. It's just minus one degrees, so lots of warm kit today. Just warming up the engine. Got full thermals on this morning, which is why I might sound a bit muffled, including face protector, the full shebang. Lovely morning. This hard run can be a little bit temperamental on launch if you don't nail it. Come on, quad, 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 quad. What? Oh no. <sighs> That's happened before. Right, that was a switch last time. I'm glad I got that on camera. So let's hope it was the switch. Right. Reset. Let's go and fault find. So there's the offending issue. The rocker switch has gone back to zero. Not ideal, is it, on takeoff? Maximum thrust required, and that little bad boy just goes straight to, straight to, so it literally just rocks back to zero. So I've actually replaced this switch. The last switch did it as well. So uh, just to show, toolbox obviously, there's my old rocker switch, or on off switch or whatever the hell you call it. There it is there. So, you know, that one was failing. So a bit, bit of tape. Anyway, reset. Try again. CM5. Lovely day. I might get the 360 camera out in a bit, show you around, and uh, talk a little bit more. Let's go down and have a fly around. So, as you can see, pretty gorgeous morning. Looking lovely, very happy, loving the misty fields. So these fields are in here pretty quiet. So you always make sure your trims are in, right? A couple of things. So this morning when I was setting up and I was putting my A's in my hands, these are the A razors for those that aren't aware. Um, I was putting the A's in my hands and something didn't feel right. And I was just like, mm. you know, you get the spidey sense that something's up. Now, that had nothing to do with the failed launch, but if the setup doesn't feel right, I've learned to set up again. Because something's, something's up in your routine, particularly as you get into this, you do it more and more. You get into, I certainly have a fixed routine that really helps me. And uh, the fixed routine this morning was telling me something's up. And, and as it happened, I think it was just because I was putting speed bar on and I was double checking speed bar and I was getting distracted. So when that happens, what I've learned in the past is that will tend to result in some sort of issue on takeoff. So, so I deal with it by uh, resetting. Anyway, hairs are out this morning. Morning, Mr. Hair. Hello. Hello. Oh, they're everywhere. Oh no, dear. I don't like disturbing deer. Oh, 
it's cold down here. It's actually about five degrees warmer up top for obvious reasons. The ground's extremely cold, so that's keeping the air down here cold. So you can see the um, mist gives you a good indication of where the inversion is. So anyway, there's the deer. They don't seem too fast. Hello. There are they grow deer? Anyone a deer expert? Hey, this is why you come out and fly mornings. So, again, another risk here. Visibility is limited. No be electric pylons, so I will not do low level. That sort of mist. But I can steer around it. Woo! Hello, Mister Hair. Oh, they have the little scripts. They they have these cool little shell scrapes <laughs> that they think so it's quite obvious from the air where the hairs are I'm currently doing 45 k's an hour and this hair is not knowing where to go
50 meters short. That's an odd sight. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. Woohoo!